now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by this sun of York, and all the clouds that lowered upon our house in the deep bosom of the ocean buried. Now are our brows with victorious now are our brows bound with victorious weeds, our bruised arms hung up for monuments, our stern alarms changed to merry meetings, our dreadful marches to delightful measures. Grim visage war has smoothed his wrinkled front, and now, instead of mounting barbed steeds to fright the souls of fearful adversaries, he capers nimbly in a lady's bedchamber to the lascivious pleasing of the loot. But I, that am not shaped for sportive tricks, nor made to court an amorous looking lass, I, that am rudely stamped, and want love's majesty to strut before a wanton ambling I, that am curtailed of this fair proportion, cheated of feature by dissembling nature, deformed, unfinished, sent before my time into this breathing world, scarce half made up, and that so lame and unfashionable that dogs bark at me as I halt them. Why I, in this weak, piping time of peace, have no delight to pass away the time unless to spy my shadow in the sun and descant on my own deformity. And therefore, since I cannot prove a lover, to entertain these fair, well-spoken days, I am determined to prove a villain and hate the idle pleasures of these days. Plots have I laid, inductions dangerous, by drunken prophecies, lies, and dreams, to set my brother Clarence and the king in deadly hate against one another. And if King Edward be as true as just true and just as I am subtle, and false, and treacherous. That day should Clarence, this day should Clarence closely be mewed up about a prophecy which says that G of Edward's heirs shall the murderer be. Divine thoughts dive down to my soul. Here Clarence come. 